Five years ago, Jim Woolsey, former director of the CIA, and I led a government study that found a lack of preparedness to face catastrophic terrorism. Our warnings and those of similar groups went largely unheeded. I remember uh, saying to somebody that uh, we were not going to pay attention until there was the equivalent of a Pearl Harbor, and alas, that turned out to be correct. In fact, I hate to tell you this, but when we uh, first submitted an op-ed in the 90s on this, the New York Times turned it down, as did another newspaper, because they said it was just hyping the intelligence budget. Well, this op-ed was written in a sense of I don't know, personal anguish after 9-11 that uh, if we were going to prevent this happening again, we were going to have to reorganize, we we're going to have to make major changes in government. The FBI and the CIA, for example, didn't really communicate very well with each other, and the various bureaucracies which eventually were pulled together into Homeland Security uh, were quite separate. So the argument was let's find ways to reorganize so that we can get better coordination, better communication within the government. Well, looking back at the op-ed on how to protect the homeland, I feel that many of the things I recommended there have been done, and that uh, the Bush and the Obama administration deserve credit for that. I think the danger is that we think that we've solved the problem, and we haven't. If terrorism is a decades-long process, a generations-long process, then we have to ask ourselves, what is the strategy we need to take internationally so that we win the hearts and minds of mainstream Muslims so that these radicals cannot recruit uh, again as they did in a decade ago. And that means we have to resist the kind of uh, nativistic and chauvinistic attacks on Muslims which try to divide the world into the West versus Islam which is exactly the trap that Bin Laden wanted us to fall into. <laughs>